All right, you guys, today we're gonna check out how to make the latest GTA 6 logo animation from the GTA trailer that they have there. And this tutorial had been inspired from Motion Nation and had been tweaked and improved a little bit more in order to look more accurate to the trailer logo animation. So let's do this. Create a new composition, you'll rename it as text. I gotta go with 4K, make it black background. Six seconds, click OK. Select the type tool. I'm gonna go with VI, press the letter S, scale it up. Let's align it to the center. Align horizontal and vertical. And I'm gonna scale it more. I also gotta duplicate this layer, press Control D. And with the top one, I'm gonna recolor the fill to black. So the top text is black and around it should create that glow effect. I also gonna rename this as black. Now I'm gonna uncheck the top layer. Let's go to the second layer and let's go to the effects and presets. Type in gradient and drag and drop the four color gradient on the bottom layer here. Here we got these little dots and drag and drop these little dots right near to the text like so. And now we're gonna change the colors. I gotta go and select the yellow here. And I gotta go with something orange, like in the GDA. And I gotta select the hex code, press Control C, click OK. And I gotta go to the blue now, click on it, Control V, click OK. And now I gotta go to the green, and I gotta make this more purple, pink ish, something in between. And copy paste the gang. Click OK. These actually are kind of the same. So now let's go to the effects and presets. Type in CC radial blur and drag and drop under the gradient. Now increase the amount. And as you can see, it's going to create this spinning blur effect, but we don't want that. We're going to need to change the scratch to fading zoom. And I'm going to increase the amount more. And this is going to create a similar effect that we have in the GTA trailer. I'm going to add 50 here. Now I'm going to duplicate this layer, press Ctrl D and just drag this layer at the bottom, right click, rename, radial. Let's go to the middle layer. And right now, if I activate the black layer, you can see it looks something like this. It's hard to understand what is going on there. So I'm going to uncheck it and I'm going to go and delete the CC radial blur. And we're going to go to the effects and presets and search for fast box blur and drag and drop under the gradient. And we're going to increase the blur radial, something like this. So it's going to complete also these sides with blur. And I'm going to check the black now. And now the text is visible 100%. I'm going to go a little bit more up, somewhere around 22. And I'm going to go and rename this as glow. I'm going to duplicate. Control D and I'm going to go and delete the four color gradient remain with the fast box blur. And I also going to go to the effects and presets type in glow, drag and drop under the fast box blur. I'm going to uncheck the glow a little bit and we're going to go to the fast box blur and we're going to need to decrease this to some round two or one. So it's going to create these sharp stroke effects. So it's going to highlight the text even more and it's going to make it look more classy. Now we're going to activate the glow and I'm going to increase the glow radius a little bit more some around 80 and I'm going to rename the layer to glow. And not but least, we're going to need another layer which is going to create these sparkling shining animations. So for example, I'm going to select the glow gradient. I'm going to press Ctrl D to duplicate and I'm going to delete again the four color gradient, also the fast box blur. And I'm also going to uncheck the first two layer here so we can see what we're doing. And we're going to go to the effects and presets, type in fractal noise drag and drop the fractal in here and let's go back and type in CC light burst. 2.5 and I'm going to drag it under. Okay, so let's go to the fractal noise and I'm going to increase the contrast here from 100 to somewhere around 250. And let's go to the transform. We got the scale. You can decrease or increase the scale. So if you decrease it, you can see the pattern of the fractal is going to shrink even more and the rays are going to be really dense. So I'm going to need to increase it. I'm going to go somewhere around 200 and 30, 40 and the CC light burst should be on 50 as here on a radial CC radial blur. Here is also the amount on 50. Now I didn't put the CC radial blur on the fractal because it doesn't work properly together with the fractal noise. So instead the CC light burst goes well. And I also gonna need to go here to the blend mode and change it from normal to multiply. If you don't have the blend mode, you can go here to toggle switch, click on it and click and it's going to appear. Great. Now I'm going to activate the two layers. I also going to rename this 
and we're gonna animate the rays now. We got here the evolution at the fractal noise. All you need to do is press and hold Alt, click on the stopwatch, and here you can see down, we got some codes. All you need to do is type in time asterisk 200, click play, and now you can see the rays are animated. You also can make a ray reveal. All you need to do is go to the radio, activate the stopwatch, increase it to zero. Let's go to the first second increase it to 50 and let's go to the rays and we're going to do the same thing bring it back let's go to the ray length activate the stopwatch decrease it to zero let's go to the first second increase it to 50 and looks something like this and that's how you make the gda5 logo animation here in after effects thanks for watching